Welcome, Greg Humans! My name is Jaime, giving you exclusive events on some headlines that you don't even care about. But they come across my feed and I'm going to share them with you. And away we go. So they say, I'm not for sure, on this article I've been reading, they say that in Italy, that it set an annual record for the entire country reported no births in three whole months. That's bananas. Okay, humans, they said three months in one whole country. That's some serious birth control. Or people just didn't feel like doing it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not sure, but this is pretty wild, you know, because you hear, you know, you can go into these, um, you can go into these like conspiracies and things like that. Like people can say, oh, these are signs. You know, you can get all freaked out and go into that, that angle if you want. You can be like, you know, these are signs of the end. Because people have always been, you know, for years, have always tried to scare you into thinking the world and life itself is going to come to an end. And, you know, when things like this come out in the articles, which could be some rare formity, it could probably happen more times than, than we know about. But now that everything is so flooded in the media, I mean, it probably just, you know, now it's something that we're all like, oh, my gosh, this is new. You know, and uh, this could be one of those type of things. This could be something that happens more than more than we know. But it is something to think about, you know, but I'm not trying to, I mean, not like fear wise. Okay. Like I said, with these, um, you know, it's kind of concerning because like I said, I love a good conspiracy and everything like that. But when people start to do these things and put certain, you know, like um, pieces of the puzzle together, you start getting a little worried sometimes you're like, wait, this don't seem so, these used to be entertaining and now it's getting a little scary, you know, and you just feel uncomfortable, you know, you just get uncomfortable. And like you hear about all those, like I said, all those conspiracies, like there's fluoride in the water and there's like, you know, the overprocessed food is like changing your DNAs and like all these crazy things going around here, you know, and we're, what are we supposed to believe? You know, like they told us also that before the big thing, they, there's the big bang and then there's theories of not a big bang. And they say before the big bang, there was absolutely nothing <laughs> like they were there. You know what I'm saying? Like, like those, so they tell us they don't even know. How, um, you know, less about our oceans than they do about space and all those other things like that. But, you know, they're going to tell they and they also tell you, they can't even tell you how old the pyramids are, but they can tell you how old the universe is. This is where I feel like you got to be careful on what, you know, what you want to dive into when it comes into some things you want to, you know, be afraid of, or, you know, you know, like I said, go down the rabbit hole. You know, you have all these, you know, crazy satellite technology. You know, it's like technology is bananas now. Pretty soon you won't even need the phone in your hand, you know. It's going to be scary like that. They're going to use that voice of God tech, but like on a daily basis. On like my previous episode, they'll be using that, but like for our cell phones. It's going to be weird and scary for a minute, you know. And then it'll be scary again, like if you're intoxicated. Like, you know, like if you're super drunk and then you hear that voice, like, why haven't you called me? You know, oh shit, you know. And you start tripping. You know, it's going to get weird in the future. It's getting weirder. <laughs> but with all this crazy technology... Um, they claim with all this like bomb satellite technology and like all this, you know, it's so advanced, right? But your phone doesn't work when you're like wide open in a clear view of satellites. Like you could supposedly see them flying when you're up north camping. And you could see all the stars look like just a jar of glitter just poured out everywhere. And then you see these things flying by and they're flashing. They're like, oh, those are satellites. You know, it's like awesome. You know, I'm probably going to get the best, you know, the best network right now. But no, your phone sucks right there. <laughs> so that's why I feel like, what are you supposed to believe? <laughs> what are you supposed to believe right there? These come from the same people that also stated that UFOs or UAPs, whatever initials they want to call them this time, were our first sightings back in the day were reflections of swamp gas. <laughs> so why do I bring this up? You know, like, why do I bring all these wild things up? I feel like a lot of these things, like, you know, a lot of times they come up all the time. Like, these are just, like, diversions and distractions. These are, like, sleight of hands to me. You know, because it's like, while well, you're too busy, you know, fighting your crazy, gay, Nazi, racist, liberal neighbors, these guys are committing gigantic crimes on, like, immeasurable levels. <laughs> And all they do it, they all have like this one big boss and like this big boss is getting sick of just being, you know, in these certain like, you know, grids. And now this one, this big boss wants us all under this one boss. And I think that's what's going down here. Like these all seem to be big scenarios to use us, use as, um, you know, collateral to make these next big moves of more power. Well, my name is Jaime 
And this has been another episode of Meant to Vent. Till next time, humans. See ya.